What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another luxury home tour. My name is Darren Kriz and today we are gonna give you a full tour of this beautiful brand new Tuscan home located in Port Ranch. Showing you guys yet another one of these incredible model homes in the northern San Fernando Valley of Los Angeles. And this one features five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, about 4,000 square feet of interior space, and is currently priced to start at just $1.4 million. As you arrive to the front of the home, you see the garage to the left side of the house, two car garage there, and we are now on the pedestrian pathway leading up to the front entrance of the home, which is on the right wing of the house in an absolutely beautiful Tuscan estate. You can see all of the nice Tuscan features, such as this rounded area in the front entrance that you're gonna check out once we go inside. Lots of amazing landscaping here in front as well. You have an olive tree directly in front of the home and check out this pathway consisting of wood looking like tile and rock features to either side of it. More landscaping to both sides, yet another olive tree. And here we've arrived to your grand entrance. Just take a look at that. I love the stonework on the exterior of this house. Now let's just go inside. And as we enter this Tuscan estate, we arrive to this grand entryway and you see that it is rounded off with 30 foot high ceilings and you look up to that gold Sputnik like modern chandelier hanging right from those wood beams, those massive wood beams above. And you can see up onto the second level a little bit as well. But before we move on into the open concept living space, we do have a coat closet right next to the front door. And to my left, we have the first bedroom that we're gonna show you guys. Entering the first bedroom in this house, this can be considered the guest bedroom or the in-laws suite. And you see we are front facing, looking out to that olive tree in the front yard, lots of windows to bring in natural sunlight, more closet space over to my right. And let's check out the bathroom because it is en suite. So the first thing I notice in this bathroom is I love the smooth, bright white tiles throughout the entirety of it. And the shower does have a different look to it. It's not just your cookie cutter square shower. There is a little bit of a shape that allows for access to a shower bench down there below with enough room to have a seat while you're taking a shower and just washing up in here. Then you have your toilet and your full vanity with quartz countertops, lots of countertop space to the right side of that vanity, large mirror. And I do like this candle, very nice staging right above your toilet. Makes for a nice vibe if you are into candles. As we leave that first bedroom and go back into the grand entryway, we're gonna move through to the open concept living space. You're gonna get a little sneak peek of the dining, living, and kitchen, but still, we are not gonna show you guys that just yet. Curved staircase to my right, but this is the entry to the powder room. A Little bit different powder room than the last bathroom we saw. No cabinet space down here below, freestanding sink. And I do like the limestone on this wall. Very smooth and textured featured limestone going all the way up to the ceiling. You have a light fixture above the mirror there, toilet on this side, and just plenty of room in here to wash up when you're coming from the family room and open living space. And right outside of this powder room is the garage door. And this is a little bit of a mud space in this nook with some countertop space, some cabinetry space down below where you can store towels or whatever else you need in here. And as we move out, open concept living at its finest here in Southern California. We're gonna start in the dining room to the right side. So this is it, enough space for a large dining table, can fit up to about eight seats. You look above to this gold chandelier. It kind of matches that Sputnik chandelier that we saw hanging above, but there's actually two. You're gonna see the second one as we get up to the top level. A few windows to bring in natural sunlight, looking out to your side yard, and this dining space, as I said, it's opened up to the family room. Now there's plenty of space in this family room. Enough space, of course, for a flat screen TV up here on the wall. Down below, lots of countertop space, lots of cabinetry and a bright white modern feature. And this Tuscan home is incredible. You can already just look into the kitchen. I already wanna talk about it. It looks amazing. It's not just your modern kitchen. If you guys like a Tuscan home, let us know in the comments below. We wanna know. Plenty of couch seating here, but that's enough of this living space. It's pretty much all we needed to talk about. Let's go into the kitchen. So we don't have one, but we have two center islands here in this kitchen. And this second center island is facing your living space with some breakfast bar seating on the outside. 
with your small linear sink on this one. Lots of cabinetry space. I love this beige tone. Just take a look at that. Zoom in for a quick second. And let's check out that second island too. All you have on this one is the massive sink to wash some more of your larger dishes, bowls, whatever you might want. You might just wanna wash a small coffee cup in this sink. But over on this wall, we have one of your three Wolf ovens. You have a dark wood tone in all of the cabinetry space throughout, sticking with that Tuscan style home here. And here's your massive Sub-Zero fridge and freezer, stainless steel appliances, of course. There is a little bit of countertop space to the right side of your fridge and freezer where you can maybe just have enough room to display some vases as you can see. And then take a look at this backsplash. You're gonna see more of that backsplash on the other side of the stove tops and the oven area. But let's walk into this second kitchen first. So this is your secondary kitchen or your butler's pantry. And we do have Wolf stove with four burners, quartz countertops throughout. You see that honeycomb textured tiled backsplash all throughout this butler's pantry. The same cabinetry that we see in the main kitchen area. And there's a place where you can store your refrigerator, but they don't have that inputted just yet. It will be when someone does purchase this home. You have your sink over on this side where your countertop space is with another window to bring in more natural sunlight, even here in your secondary kitchen. And you have a little walk-in pantry here in your secondary kitchen with a window door so you can see all of your canned goods and all of your storage food in here. Out of that pantry, back into the main kitchen. Now here's your built-in wolf microwave, more quartz countertop spaces, the same honeycomb textured backsplash. Just zoom into that. I love the textured tone. You have smaller hexagon tiles within those larger ones. And that's right above your six burner gas stove, two more wolf ovens down there below, and that hood vent. Just take in that hood vent. Oh my gosh, that just really adds to the Tuscan vibe once again of this home. It's not just sleek, it's really just out there and I should probably just stop talking about the hood vent, honestly. But let's keep moving. More windowed cabinetry. Same dark wood throughout. Countertops extend all the way to the end of your kitchen. And then we have this area. This space is large enough to not just have one of those small breakfast tables. This could really act as a second dining room area. As you can see, you can also fit about eight people over on this side of your kitchen. You have lots of oversized windows. Looking out to that incredible backyard, I can't wait to go out there and show you guys. But that's bringing in a ton of natural sunlight as you can see from this angle right here. But enough just talking about it while standing inside. I'm just gonna walk out there. So here we go, indoor outdoor flow at its finest. We have these sliding glass doors completely opened up. Of course, in Southern California, you don't get weather much better than this. And so yet another dining table, but this is your outdoor dining table. We can look up to a few wood beams and you have a fan up there. So if it gets too warm, you can cool yourself down. Along with the fan on the ceiling, we have some built-in speakers so you can play some tunes indoors or outdoors depending on what kind of vibe you want, what kind of party you're having out here. Over on this side, we have a wood-burning gas fireplace and then above that, flat screen TV. Look at all these finishes with this counter space below the TV. To both sides, you have a pocketed nook just to open up this space a little bit more. You don't feel so cramped in right here. But now this is it. This might be my favorite part of the house already. I'm just gonna start by walking up these steps because look at this area. This might be an incredible view. I can't wait to check it out, but look at this. So Raul's gonna walk up these tiled steps. You can see some rock features down below bordering this area. Four seats to either side. You can have a fire pit in the center, potentially if it gets too cold or windy up here in the hills. More rock features right here. And then your pool is very large. You have basically two pools to both sides of this elevated space and you get views all throughout the San Fernando Valley. And this is a brand new community, so it's going to be incredible once it's completely finished. All right, let's head down these steps. I'm gonna make sure not to trip and fall in, but you do see steps going to both sides of this pool. And as we walk over here, we have a sunken down bar and barbecue grill area with beautiful stone countertops, an elevated bar area with plenty of bar seats. And as I said, it is a sunken bar with a built-in fridge down here below, right on top of these countertops, you do have a sink. And like I said, more Wolf appliances in your barbecue grill so the master chef can sit here and just cook up some burgers, whip them over to whoever's ready to eat. But let's walk up here and talk about this because this 
is your jacuzzi. And this is even more elevated than the pool. I'm gonna keep watching my step. But right down below me, you do have a waterfall, which you see on both sides of your backyard that flow into the pool down there. And this jacuzzi just takes on all the views of the valley. You can see all those mountains to the right side. And what's more to say about this? This is your dream backyard. Let us know in the comments below what you think. Okay, heading back inside, that was everything here on this first level of this two-story brand new model Tuscan Estate in the northern San Fernando Valley. But before we head upstairs, 74% of you guys are not subscribed, so if that subscribe button is red, just please click it right there down below. We really appreciate that, but let's head upstairs. As we walk up the curb staircase to the second level, I first wanted to mention underneath the staircase, lots of built-in shelf space to display any books, maybe make it a study area, or any vases, pottery, whatever you're into, and every single one of those nooks has a light, so you can display it even better. But as we walk up these stairs, you can see the high ceilings and yet another Sputnik gold chandelier hanging from two crossing wood beams up on the ceiling. That does bring a nice modern vibe to this Tuscan home. And check it out, there are two identical to either side of me. This is the one right above the front door in that grand entrance. And here we are on the second level, this common living space. So honestly, this common living space is massive. There's lots of space for an L-shaped couch. You have a center coffee table, plenty of quartz countertop spaces built in against the wall, that corner off right here, enough space for some desks, two Mac desktops, and look at these custom dark walls with three light fixtures up above. Makes for a nice study area for the kids potentially, as there are four total bedrooms up here, three for the kids, one for the adults and the master. But look at this flat screen TV up on the wall, plenty of drawer space down below for some storage, and just anything you need up here, you can play some games, you can study, you really have potential to do it all. And now before we check out the primary master bedroom, there are three right behind me down this hallway. So first to the right, we got two bedrooms down this way. Some countertop space in a dark wood tone, above more floating cabinets. Check it out, plenty of storage, but let's go this way. Let's take a turn to the right first. So do I have to mention it every time we check out these model homes, the staging is absolutely incredible. Take a look at the wallpaper, it looks like a city above. We have a fan, that's not your typical fan with a few wings. We've got two fans hanging off of that one fan. That's extremely interesting. First time I'm seeing it, so this is a natural reaction of that. We got two windows looking out into the front yard, that street, the closet is to my right. Enough space for the bed directly in the center, and let's take a look at the bathroom. Pretty standard finishes in this bathroom. We have light white quartz stone on these countertops of the vanity. Look at this backsplash. You see the Italian porcelain tile up along there, and we do see some of it also in the shower. Shower walls consist of that nice pattern throughout, built-in bathtub. And you do also have porcelain tile on the flooring. That is an upgrade for this house, but what do you think of that? Let's keep moving right across the hall and see how this one differs. So as you can see, this one might be staged for a girl as there's a lot of pink to this room and you have a crystal looking like chandelier above the bed. A little bit different from that fan on fan fan over in that other room, pretty interesting. Walk-in closet to my right with plenty of space to store all of her favorite clothes. And then of course, it's en suite. This bathroom is honestly extravagant for just a normal bathroom right off one of the bedrooms. We see this wallpaper in a chrome touch with flower objects on them, leading all the way to the shower, but the shower tiles are of a 3D smooth white bright tile. Built-in bathtub in there. The vanity is the exact same one that we saw in the room across the hall, but you don't see that porcelain backsplash. You have quartz on that backsplash. So let's get out of here. And there's one more bedroom before the master. So down this hall, we take an L-shaped turn. To my right first is the laundry room. So overall, I love this laundry room. It stays with a Tuscan theme throughout every room in this house. We have more quartz countertops with plenty of countertop space 
on this left hand side, large sink on the right side. This backsplash wall is a very nice, a different tile. Same finishes in all of this cabinetry to both sides. And then there's your washer and dryer. If you didn't see them already, but I'm pretty sure they're just right in your face. Now directly across from the laundry room, the third and final bedroom, but before the master. So this one is currently staged for a toddler or a young newborn. I love the staging in here. You can see this lion matches the wallpaper on this backside very incredibly. I mean, look at that. Can they do a better job at staging these rooms? I'm not so sure myself, but you do have a different chandelier above hanging by a rope. So the closet is on the wall to my left and there's enough space for a comfortable seat, some drawer space, but here's the bathroom. Similar bathroom, similar layout and similar quartz countertops, but in a different stone. You have more dark cabinetry down there. Right next to that toilet, of course, and then shower again has a built-in bathtub. All three of these bathrooms did have a built-in bathtub. And this tile on the wall kind of looks like a wood to me, but before you touch it, it is a tile that goes all the way up to the ceiling. And you have a nice window vent up there to bring in some sunlight to your shower space here in this smaller bedroom. Out of this third of four bedrooms up here on this top level, follow me back down the hall, back to this common area. I love this open space. Take a look at both Sputnik chandeliers once again as we make our way to the master bedroom. So here we are in your master bedroom here in Porter Ranch. Check it out. We have these sliding glass doors completely open. I just want to walk out to the balcony first before we talk about anything else. Indoor outdoor flow in your own bedroom. I love the tiles. You have a chevron pattern in the center here down below. Over on this side, flat screen TV up above two built-in fridges. You got your regular Sub-Zero fridge and then a wine fridge right next to that. You have more Caesar stone, stone on your countertops and then just more built-in space for your outdoor kitchen area. So from this large balcony, you can see right now lots of construction going on. This brand new community is going to look incredible once completely finished and you get views of the valley, the Santa Monica mountains. And there's not a cloud in the sky because there never is when we're shooting a video. And we do have modern glass railings looking down into the entirety of your backyard and pool area. Over on this side, enough space for a day bed. We look up to the ceiling. We've got plenty of wood beams lacing the ceiling of this enclosed outdoor area off your master bedroom. Two built-in speakers above so you can listen to music while just hanging out and enjoying the day. Now we're back inside the bedroom. Look up to this rustic chandelier. It definitely matches the Tuscan vibe of this house. That's a little bit different than some of the other light fixtures that we've been seeing so far. And wow, this is the first time I'm seeing this, but this wood feature on the wall on the back side of the bed is absolutely incredible. And yes, that is a real wood that is not a tile. More built-in speakers to both corners of this room. I like these modern light fixtures on this wall of the bed so you can display your favorite artwork, favorite photos. In front of the bed, we have built-in gas fireplace above that flat screen TV. And there is some space to the left here where you can have some storage, some drawers, an oversized mirror so you can check yourself out before starting your day. Now let's go into the master bathroom. So there's a lot to talk about in this master bathroom. This is not just your ordinary modern bathroom. Well, of course, because it's a Tuscan styled home. But let's start to my left. We have quartz countertops in a beige tone, and then it contrasts that dark wood finish very nicely down below. You have a mirror right above your sink, two light fixtures hanging from the ceiling, and a built-in speaker directly above while you're washing up right here. So I'm just gonna start by walking into this shower because there is an entry and an exit out on the other side. And you have how many? One, two, three rain shower heads, one directly on the ceiling, and then two up against the wall on these large tiled slabs. To my left, you have lots of space for your shower bench, and you have a matching one on the other side. This shower is identical, symmetrical to both sides. And what also is symmetrical to both sides are these walls. Just zoom into this real quick. That is unbelievable. You have different shades of gold. This one almost looks like a gold foil in my opinion, but look at that. Almost maybe like a luxury fish. You got fish scales going all the way up to the ceiling in there. I don't know, what do you guys think? What do you guys think about that tile? Well, let's walk out of this door. 
Now, was that a shower or just a room on its own? That was absolutely massive. We have a freestanding deep soaking tub in the center of it. Pretty similar vanity. We have the same finishes except for this drop down makeup area with the chair directly in the center of it. And now that's pretty much it on this side. There are two walk-in closets. Here's the first one. Now my favorite part about these walk-in closets are the lighting sometimes. If you look at the lighting, it is used to display every single item that you see in every space. Look at that, LED light strips on the walls inside these closet spaces. And there's a lot of character to this closet. We have some square nooks right here above vertical opening windowed drawers up there and then more closet space to my right. But let's take a look at the other closet because it is a little bit different than this one. So directly between both closets is your toilet room and there will be a door built in once purchased so that you can have some privacy while you're in there doing your thing. Let's go to this closet. So this closet might be a little bit brighter because there are window doors to open up and check out all of your designer clothing. LED light strips in every single one. We have the same vertical opening windowed ones above. And just more built in shelf space all throughout. More of those built in nooks. And this closet is designed a little different from the last one. As you see, it cuts this corner out to make more of a diamond shape in here. So you have just a little bit more room to do your changing. Now let's get out of this closet and out of the bathroom. Myself and Raul are gonna go back downstairs and let you guys know what we think of this one. We just showed you guys everything here in this brand new model Tuscan home here in Porter Ranch in Los Angeles. I gotta ask Raul, what's been your favorite part of this home? So yeah, this was one of my favorites. I have to say I love the Tuscany vibe that this house had all throughout. Um, definitely love all the finishes. And a thing that really stuck out to me was the backyard and the basically that main stage area where you can have four seating, four seats, and then also the underground, or not underground, but the sunken in bar area. I think those are definitely my favorite parts of this one, but overall a great home. That's a great choice. If I have to go against Raul, I would have to say the upstairs common area. I love that open space. You see the two modern Sputnik chandeliers to both sides of it. Just lots of room up there. I love that it's staged with those two MacBook desktops. You have the built-in TV, an L-shaped couch. What's not to love up there? It's a great hangout area if you don't wanna be here in this open living area. But yeah, let us know what you guys liked about this one down in the comments below, cause we wanna know. Had to take one last look at the backyard, but thank you guys so much for watching till the very end of the video. If you did and you haven't already, smash the like button down below. We really appreciate it a ton. Also hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. We're posting videos every week, so stay tuned for those. 74% of you guys are not subscribed. What are you guys doing? Hit the subscribe button kindly. We greatly appreciate it, as I already said. But we'll see you guys on the next one.